Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here and... Bradley. Mr. Heidi. It is November 30th, 2017. It is Thursday afternoon, or evening, and it's 5.24 p.m. And what is the weather like, Mr. Heidi? The weather in Panacea, Florida, mostly sunny, 71 degrees, a real feel of 77, a high of 77, and a low... A bitterly cold 55 degrees. I know. So cold. So cold. So cold. So last night, or after I left you guys yesterday, um, did make chicken and pork fajitas and um, for dinner. And They were good. Yeah, they were good. And just worked some more on that scarf and a 5D. And that's about it. Um... Yeah, that was about... Oh, I paid some bills. Did a little bit of Christmas shopping um, and stuff. And um, then today, um, I had a hard time sleeping last night. Brad had a little bit easier of a night sleeping. We can't ever just do it normally together. Yeah. But... Um, because I'm the normal one. Yeah, right. But um, then... Um, I got up after he got out of the shower and stuff. Visited with him a little bit while he ate breakfast and stuff. Waffles. <laughs> and he only worked a four-hour shift, so that was nice. Uh, uh, he went to storage unit, got out some extension cords that we had there, and then uh, stopped and picked up pizza. I had pre-ordered from uh, Pizza Hut. Cause we knew we were going to be outside um, decorating for Christmas, and we did, and we put up our black Christmas tree. I thought it was a four-foot tree. It's a six-foot tree, pre-lit. got like 500 light bulbs on it. A little lights, very pretty. We had gotten three strands of uh, silver garland from Dollar Tree, which was just perfect amount. And then we had gotten, I told you guys, we had gotten those aqua blue um, ornaments from uh, Hobby Lobby. They were half off, um, so they only cost us ten dollars. We got some snowflake ones again that were half off, and um, uh. And then we had a few small ornaments that we got last year that were silver, uh, purple, and pink. And the tree turned out gorgeous. Um, and then I strung lights on the outside of the canopy and used the big snowflake um, on it. I'll show you pictures of the tree. And, you know, just put out a few other decorations that, that we have and stuff. And, uh, you got to tell them about the tree topper. The tree topper at Jack Skellington, uh, which was cool. Um, clinging on for dear life. Yeah, he's clinging on for dear life. But yeah, I'll show you guys. This is the tree. I don't know how well you can see it. And on the very top there is Jack Skeleton. I don't know if you can see him or not, but he's wrapped around the top, clinging on for dear life. But yep. That's our Christmas tree, our black one. We love it. I don't know who keeps texting me. <laughs> and then I have these two guys hanging outside. We had gotten them last year from Dollar General. I don't know how well you can see that or not. But it's Santa Claus and then uh, and uh, Gingerbread Head. And I put them on that double shepherd's hook. And that tree right behind there, you can see a little bit of that. Uh, white lights wrapped around it too and stuff. It all turned out real nice. Um, let me turn down my thing. Cause it's still bizarre decorating for Christmas in shorts and a t-shirt. Yeah, I mean, 75 degrees out and yeah. just beautiful. And, you know, we're from Wyoming and there you would, if you got a nice day, even in October, you put out your Christmas lights. Even though you weren't going to plug them in yet. You put them out. But you didn't know when it was going to be warm enough. And I, I, honest to goodness, there will be times that it would not be warm enough until just about June to take your Christmas decorations down. One year, we still had the Halloween stuff up. we thrown a few Christmas lights up. The Halloween stuff still staying in, still up because it was frozen. And, I mean, so we had that, you know, and here it was springtime. But, um, yeah, it was, it's really strange being able to, to have a 
a Christmas tree outside. This is under. This is in our our screen in canopy uh, and stuff. So, but yeah, it's it was. It turned out real nice. Um, you know, and um, that's about all we've done all day. We I was outside from about one o'clock until five, so four hours. You know, yep. and Brad doing laundry too. Five loads. Five loads. Mm -hmm. But I'm He's doing bedding and stuff. Too. All caught up. Yeah. Except yeah. for this work shirt here, but yeah. I can wear a button down shirt. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna mosey on down okay, there. Okay, you just mosey on down there, honey. Yeah. But yeah, it was neat, you know. I think it was just enough. Oh, and then I got, we got to find, I got some double A's in back. I think that's what these take. So this, this turns on and it, and it does different colors. We got this last year too from Dollar General. So, got that inside. So, I just to go, it just goes to show you, though, that no matter where you live, you can bring a little Christmas into your life. You know, whether it's just a real small, maybe maybe all you have room for is a real small tree like this. This is all we got room for inside this RV here. Is this tree, and it works great. Um, you know, or you choose to do something outside. You know, even if it's just a single, maybe bow that you hang, or maybe it's a single ornament that you hang. Just something that you enjoy, unless you just don't like Christmas at all. Then just don't do it. But like I said, we all, I always wanted a black Christmas tree. Always wanted a black one. You know, I remember growing up, my grandmother had a pink Christmas tree for a while. She had a white Christmas tree for a while. You know. And then, of course, the classic green. But it didn't matter. Her Christmas trees were always so beautiful. And I think, I think this one we have is, is real pretty and stuff. You know, so, uh, and it's, it's our taste and stuff, so, I mean, I was real happy. Christmas tree was super easy to put together, to snap the stand together, and then it came in three sections. Um, and stuff couldn't have been easier, it's pre-lit, so, yep, so, next thing I have to do is Saturday, I'm going to be doing a lot of mailing. Doing a lot of mailing Saturday, I think. It all doesn't have to go out Saturday, but some of it does. So, I'm going to do some mailing Saturday. But I've got to get the health insurance thing squared away, so we have that now. Um, what else? Hmm. That's probably about it. You know, narrowing down, I know you guys are like, my God, you know. It's only the last day in November, but I like getting my Christmas stuff out of the way so I can just kind of sit back and relax. So, I hope everybody had a great day. Um, I don't know if I'll catch up with comments or not tonight. I would like to say I am going to, but I'm not sure. If not, I'll catch up with them tomorrow because, like I said, we had to get this Christmas tree going and stuff. So, anyway, I love you guys. I do cherish your friendship so much. And I think you're awesome. And don't forget if you want to exchange Christmas cards my address below I'll be happy to send you one right back so you guys take care and I will talk to you tomorrow bye